All right, what's up, everybody? Well, I had not expected to be sitting here recording another episode of Mugen Train. Uh, you know, I was planning to do two of them, and I just watched, of course, episode three and four. But I've been so into it that I really just wanted to go straight ahead and continue with the fifth episode already. This this is such an enjoyable ride. I see that the fifth episode is called Move Forward, which <laughs> is a little funny to me to see, of course. Uh, you know, as, a, as an Attack on Titan fan, I can now definitely call myself. Um... Yeah, and, and other than that, you know, what can I say about uh, where we actually are at in the movie right now? I mean, we had that huge twist sort of at the end where it turns out that the demon, although Tanjo actually beheaded it, um, you know, right at the end of the movie, it basically won't be the end uh, as the demon turns out to basically have infested itself or, or, or merged, fused, I don't know what the right word would be to use, with the actual train itself, which was hilarious thinking about how it all started with Inosuke attacking the train thinking it was alive, and it turns out, well, it actually is. <laughs> Who could have ever seen that coming, right? Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really know what else to say. I mentioned a couple of things that uh, sort of raised questions within me and that I wonder if the show is going to further explore later on, or maybe the movie still is. With, for example, Tanjiro's, um, you know that that one that one uh, state of his of his dreams, where there were these uh, reincarnations of him or whatever that were mentioned, that were even helping that one guy out who was uh, planning to actually destroy the core, right? So, what was that about? What was uh, what were the other versions of Anosuke and Zenitsu about? Um, you know that were that were a little bit different from uh, from their usual characters too. It's uh, It's been great so far, like I said, and I just want to continue straight away. That's what we're going to do. Of course, the next eight episodes will already be up over on Patreon. What that means is that you can finish the Mugen Train movie right now over there, as well as watch the first uh, six episode reactions to Entertainment District, which should be up there right now for you to check out. That is linked on top of the description, of course, along with full length reactions if you want to watch me react to these episodes in their entirety. But then with that being said, I'm looking forward to diving into episode 5. So, here we go. Oh, that looks so gross. <laughs> yeah, you gotta admit to him now that he's right. That's, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was already treating it that way anyway. I was a total stunt, oh, of course. <laughs> Obviously, he would use that to pat himself on the back. Glorify me. Man, his ego has taken, you know, taken off completely. I don't blame him, though. That was a good call. Oh, wow. Holy shit, all but one? Completely covered up? Oh my god. Yeah, and all these guys are still sleeping, right? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound... <laughs> gross at all. That eerie, you know, those sounds, I don't know how to describe it, the singing. We've heard it in the first season a lot too, but uh, I really like that theme. Okay, Nezuko protecting the people. Damn, looks like she actually got trapped. Oh, will, will Zenitsu free her? Wow, that is his ultimate fantasy right there. Dreams becoming reality right now. Is he asleep though still? That's why he can do this now, right? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> don't, don't wake up. 
Well, I mean, you should know. You should know what the thumbler should mean. Where is Rengoku at, actually? It's the only one we haven't seen yet. <laughs> He's disappointed in himself. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it'll set things right at least. Wow, look how that looks. Oh shit. <laughs> he takes care of five? Oh, what does he want him and Inosuke to do? Okay, okay, okay. He's still supposed to have a head. I mean, will it just be like the real complete front of the train that will be the head, or...? Wow, this is so... this just looks so good. All the 3D modeling. I always love, love those kinds of shots. <clears throat> Competition. What, the head? Yeah, that's what I figured it would be that thought. Should probably trust him on this because he did call things right in the very beginning already. As the only one. Yeah, everybody has their own tasks right now. <laughs> okay, okay, there is somebody driving it. Does he think it's this person? I mean, surely the person was aware of what was happening here, right? You would think so, yeah. Oh, shit. What a screeching like this. I mean, I assume it is the demon itself. Hidden somewhere? <laughs> just give him what he wants. Okay, just cutting it open then. What am I looking at? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, some crazy bone structure. With a whole bunch of pus coming out right <laughs> right there. And it just regenerates itself. Why did it just turn into some type of salad bowl? <laughs> okay, yeah, I gotta do both at once. <laughs> Okay. Wait, are all those eyes showing the demon rank? Oh, he's giving him the instructions now how it works, yeah. 
Ja, is Inosuke doing that too, though? Man. Every single time the interruption. Uh, so if he looks at those, that's what makes him turn. So, okay. No, no, dude, watch out. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Just, that had me worried for a second. Don't die such lame death. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Inosuke. What a, what a great character. And I thought he was so silly in the beginning. I hate myself. Oh shit. Damn. I mean, it's nothing too bad, I would think, but... You gotta love these shots once again. Well, expose it again. This is the moment. Then again, I know there's still two more episodes, so... This can't be its death yet. Damn. Wow. Such visuals. Okay, yeah, we saw the head get chopped off again. What a visual spectacle is going on right now. Wow. Ah, oh, that was it already. Shit, man. How is this so good? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm finally beginning to understand what people were talking about when they prepared me for how much of a step up Mugen Train and the rest of season two, you know, the entertainment district arc was going to be compared to the first season because all in all, there is not a lot to say about this episode in terms of actual story events or something, which is usually, of course, what I dive into and what I feel like, oh, that's something where I can give my input on it. But um, visually, I mean, this was the action episode, really, which is interesting because there's still two more to go. I'd imagine those also will be quite action packed. But uh, dude, just the amount of creative shots, the 3D modeling that's constantly being used to like pan around the train to see these I don't even know how to describe it, but just the flesh or whatever, you know, whatever gross word to use. <laughs> but the, uh, the the bone structure, of course, as well, right? But like the, the, the muscle structure or the, you know... Anyway, that kind of stuff, like seeing it come out of the floor, uh, seeing, of course, Rengoku there at the end uses fire powers. Uh, it's so... Man, what a visual masterpiece. What a spectacle this really has become, right? And uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. Again, in terms of what actually happened during this episode, I mean, it was just them figuring out that plan and how they were going to take care of it, right? So there's not, there's once again, really not a whole lot to touch on there. Rengoku protecting the rear five train carts or whatever. Um, Zenitsu teaming up together with, uh, you know, with Nezuko. Zenitsu in his usual dream state, of course, because that's the only way that he can actually... <laughs> be of use let's be honest <laughs> uh you know protecting the the front three yeah Tanjiro partnering up with Inosuke there and uh Inosuke giving him all the shit that he deserves for once to be giving him you know <laughs> for calling that the train was alive all this time it was so fantastic to see I laughed my ass off this episode I was just amazed all around um we have two more episodes to go, but all that I can really say about the Mugen Train movie at the moment is like, this this was worth all the hype. This was worth all the building up to it with the, you know, the first season, the 26 episodes that I watched there. And I can't wait to see where the rest of the show goes from here. Um, 
of course, should you already want to watch the, you know, the last two episodes of the Mugen Train movie, as well as the first six episodes of the Entertainment District arc, they should be up right now over on my Patreon, which is linked on top of the description. Over there, we also have, of course, full-length reactions if you want to see me react to the entire episodes. Um, yeah, and then for now, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.